Today is October 13th. Thanks for joining us this Thursday. My name is Julie Layton. And I'm Matthew Howard. Starting up today, a big congratulations to the Wildcat of the Week, Logan Jones. Logan was recommended by Mrs. Garver. She compliments his overall work ethic, his daily attitude, and the amount of growth he has shown over the past year. Congratulations, Logan. For any girls interested in playing basketball this fall, there will be tryouts October 24th. Attendance is important, so make sure to come out and make an appearance. As I say, there will be no more open gym for basketball. The SBHS men's wrestling team will be having a call out for any boys interested in participating this upcoming season. The meeting will be on, October, on Thursday, October 13th, starting at 10.45 a.m. in room A6. The SBHS girls wrestling practices will start on Monday, October 24th at 3.45 at the end of, and end at 5.30 in the Wildcat wrestling room. All girls are asked to wear gym clothes and have wrestling shoes for practice. The girls can dress in the girls' locker room. Boys and girls must have a physical on file in the athletic director's office. Conditioning for both male and female will be every Wednesday evening from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. in the wrestling room. Today is National Train Your Brain Day. This day raises awareness of the power of the human mind. Practicing a new skill or challenge every day helps maintain cognitive brain skills. For example, doing a crossword puzzle has been proven to help train the brain. Don't forget Wildcats, next week is fall break, so enjoy your time away and stay safe. Today for lunch is the good choice. Now sing, send things over to the sports with Kenzie. Good morning, my fellow Wildcats. I'm Kenzie, and here's a look at your sports. Unfortunately, most of our sports has concluded their seasons, but we will still have upcoming sports on the road. Tomorrow, varsity football boys are going to be taking the field at Attica. Now let's hear what Coach B has to say about the upcoming game. Yeah, we got a big week this week versus Attica. They're a good football team. They're uh, well coached. They got a new coach. They got a new attitude. They're tough. They're physical. Uh, you know, we just got to keep our nose to the grindstone and pay attention to the little things and get better uh, this Friday night and get prepared for uh, a big, a big week, the following week we get into the playoffs. We have cross country regionals beginning this weekend at Edgewood. We also have girls volleyball taking the court at Edgewood today. Also, the girls golf team would like to thank Ryan Lewis State Farm for donating the proceeds. Uh, as you know, it's not a spectator event where people pay ticket admissions, so fundraising is a difficult thing for golf, and we definitely appreciate the support of girls golf at South Vermillion High School. Okay, uh, contributing to the South Vermillion girls golf team, our Glow Golf was successful again. We look to raise more money for the community, and uh, I mentioned it on Saturday night. This is our uh, three or thirty-five thousand dollars that we've uh, raised and contributed to the community, so we're excited about that, and we're looking forward to be bigger and better every single year. So come out and look for the post next year, and join us for Glow Golf in 2023. That's it for your sports, Wildcats. How's the weather looking, Gabe? Good morning, Wildcats. Today the weather is moderately warm, with the highs in the low 60s and the lows in the low 30s. Here's a look at your weather for the rest of the week. Going into the week, we dip down to the lowest 28 and 29 degrees of this fall. Over our fall break, it'll be chilly, so make sure you wear your jackets, Wildcats. Now, here's a look at your seven-day forecast. That's it for your news, Wildcats. Have a fantastic fall break.